if you clicked on this video, I can assume a couple things. First of all, you're into crypto. Secondly, you know about helium and you maybe have a helium miner. If both of those two points are checked, you might be looking to make more with your helium miner. And that's what I'm going to cover in this video, talking about antennas. And we all know that usually the antennas that come with the helium miners aren't that great. Did I just do a bottle flip with an antenna? I ain't worried about y'all, I'm getting easos. Ain't shit changed with the clothes I'm wearing. Speed off in a new McLaren. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Changing your antenna might help you enormously, but it's always going to be your location that is the most important. Stay tuned and we're going to review a couple different situations that you might find yourself in terrain wise, location wise, and antenna wise. So you'll be able to know which one is the best for you. I personally manage my own fleet of nine bobcats. So I have a little bit of experience with this, I guess you could say. That was kind of a weird flex. Well, you know what? I'll take it. Before we even start talking about your location and your specific case, I want you to understand what DBI and DBM means for antennas. Let's start by defining DB or decibels. That is a way to actually measure power for antennas. DBI stands for decibel isotropic. And the higher your DBI is, the narrower your signal will be, but the further it will go out. And then DBM or decibels per milliwatt is the way to measure the actual power output of the amplifier or your antenna. It is very important to know these things because for helium, there is a power limit per region for DBM. In the US, for example, you'll be able to plug in a more powerful antenna than if you are in Europe, just because of these countries' different laws on radio signals. And Helium actually added that in one of the latest updates, meaning that if you go over the power that you're allowed to run in your region, your miner will actually tone that power down all by itself. So it's useless to run more than usually a 4.5 dBi antenna in Europe because that's a limit. Whereas in the US, you can go with way higher of a DBI. For this next part, I'm going to talk about two of my miners that I purposely placed exactly in the same spot. I know they're not on the same spot on the map. That's because I moved it without reasserting location just for the sake of this experiment. But they're exactly in the same spot. Antennas out of the same window, one with the 4 DBI stock Bobcat antenna and one with an aftermarket 3 DBI antenna. The earnings are low because they're super close to each other and so they kind of cancel out getting invalid witnesses and stuff like that. But that was just for the sake of this experiment. So as you can see, Overt Umber Otter is running the 4DBI Bobcat antenna. It's getting 16 witnesses and it's made 0.72 helium in a month, which is horrible. And I missed out on a lot of helium just to test this to be able to show you guys. So please go down below and drop a like because I do sacrifice for you guys. <laughs> And then let's take the other miner that has a 3 DBI and exactly in the same spot is getting 21 witnesses and made 1.30 helium in a month, which is almost double the other one just with an antenna change that actually cost me 45 bucks. That's just five more witnesses, but double the earnings because the 3 DBI is able in this situation overlooking Paris to actually witness more often than the other one. I'll have links down below for the antennas I do recommend pairing with your Helium Miner. These are Amazon affiliate links, so if you buy anything using those links, it'll help me. I'll get a tiny bit of income from it, and it'll help me get back that Helium that I sacrificed in order to prove a point. So now that you understand that different antennas actually do different jobs for different situations, let's look at a couple different situations that you might find yourself in and how to improve your helium earnings thanks to an antenna change. The first one being this one. You're outside of a big town filled with a lot of helium miners. You've got an okay-ish line of sight and you're still running the stock antenna that came with your miner. In this instance, it's a good idea to get a low DBI antenna. That means that it's gonna be omnidirectional. It'll send signal all around. In this case, this antenna is placed at the front of a building so the whole building blocks the signal going backwards. So I could actually run a directional antenna towards Paris in order to get maybe more witnesses. And as soon as I'll move the other miner that's right next to it, it'll start doing more helium. So if you're in my case like this, outside of a big town, you're gonna wanna go for a usually lower DBI. Don't go 12 DBI because that will make your signal very directional and you might miss out on a lot of surrounding witnesses. 
if I was legally allowed to run an 8DBI in France, I'd probably run an 8DBI on this miner. I do need to order a 4.5 or 5.8, depending on cable loss, for this miner because I know that it can get more witnesses with a little bit higher of a signal power. Now, let's fly over to the US, fastest flight you've ever seen, and let's find a location where someone's in the middle of nowhere. This guy is still running, as you can see, the stock 4DBI Bobcat antenna, which is not great because he has zero witnesses. As I said before, the stock antennas aren't that great. This miner would be way better off running an 8 or a 12 or a 10 DBI directional antenna towards this group of miners. The reason for that is that he's all alone over here. There's a couple around him, but he's not witnessing them at all. I'm assuming his antennas may be inside, but he's only getting rewarded for construction challenges and beaconing challengers. So no witnessing, and that is where the money is. Now let's fly all the way over to London because London is a hot spot for hot spots. I'm sorry about that one, guys. That I, I just had I had to make that joke. Okay, London is literally crazy. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, 100 miners in one hex? What, what do you expect? Okay, so this is the perfect example of what you do not want to do. Wobbly Cotton Puma is using an 8 DBI in a place that's super overcrowded with miners. I'm assuming that his is a directional, because as you can see, all the witnesses are going only in this little cone, except for one over there. But this dude would be way better off running a 4.5 or 5.8 omnidirectional antenna, getting all the witnesses around him. You can also tell this is probably a directional antenna, because he isn't witnessing anybody in front of him, which means that he's overshooting and his signal is really in a cone instead of being in a donut shape. Now, let's look at our last situation, fly back all the way to the US. How about LA? I could live in LA. San Jose, California. Okay, let's take a look at this guy making 12 helium a month. He's running a sense cap with a 1.2 dBi because he knows that he's probably elevation wise way over the rest of the town. So he doesn't need a very strong DBI antenna. He just needs to receive those witnesses and not necessarily send out a huge signal. This, guy, this guy's this guy's balling legit. 241 witnesses. This is exactly how you want to do it. The thing is, every situation is going to be different depending on elevation and line of sight. That's why you're going to usually have to test and trial through a couple antennas in order to know which one's better for you. But if you're out in a place where there's not many other miners and there's another group of miners a bit further out, you're gonna wanna get a directional high gain antenna. If you're in the middle of a town, usually you can get a good amount of witnesses by going with a lower DBI antenna, such as three, 4.5, 5.8. What you do not wanna do is if you're in the middle of a huge pack of miners, like we just saw in London or San Jose, California, is get a super high directional gain antenna because you're gonna miss out on a lot of the witnesses around you. If you, feel, if you feel like you learned anything or got any value out of this video, go down and subscribe because I got more tips and tricks coming in order to make more with your helium miners because that's what I'm trying to do as well. And the more this channel grows, the more YouTube will pay me, the more I'll be able to invest in different projects, make more videos, and bring more value to you guys. Anyways, it was your boy Marcel, aka Smoke Helm, and I'll catch you guys in another one. Peace. But the healing miners aren't that great. Did I just do a bottle flip with an antenna?